Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Grady Tech and this is a comparison between Mizu M3 Note and the La 2. Mizu M3 Note is sold exclusively on Amazon for 10,000 rupees and La 2 will be sold exclusively on Flipkart via weekly flash sales at 12,000 rupees. We can also buy it from La Mall website but I would prefer Flipkart. Both the phones have similar design language with few key differences. They have a unibody metal design, M3 comes with curved edges and a 2.5D curved glass on the top which gives it a much more premium look than La 2. La 2 comes with a unibody metal design, same as La 1S with chamfered edges. In terms of specs, La 2 is slightly lighter and sleeker than M3 Note. Design and build always comes down to your personal preference but for me at least, M3 Note is way cooler and looks way more premium than La 2. So for me at least, M3 Note is the winner. You can choose it for yourself. Both the devices have dual SIM support with dual 4G and dual standby. On La 2, we have the option to insert two nano SIM cards and no option for SD card. On M3 Note, we have a nano SIM slot and a hybrid SIM slot. So we can insert either two nano SIMs or a single nano SIM and a micro SD card. Both the devices come with fingerprint scanner which are very accurate and fast but LR2 feels slightly slower when the device is locked. On LR2 we have the fingerprint scanner on the back easily accessible to the index finger and comes with a nice mirror finish. On M3 Note we have the fingerprint scanner on the front which also acts as a back button and a home button depending on how you use it. With LR2 we can unlock the device without waking the device but it's slightly slower than when the device is awake. With M3 Note we need to first wake up the device to unlock it by pressing the home button or the power button. Both the devices have additional functionality besides unlocking the device. We can lock applications and on LR2 we can even take selfies and authenticate transactions. On M3 Note we can unlock Vault using fingerprint scanner. Vault is like a folder where you can hide files and images. Both devices come with LED notification, OTG support and all the basic sensors including gyroscope. So you can enjoy VR content on both the devices. Additionally we get an infrared sensor on the LR2 which is missing on M3 Note. In hardware department, M3 wins because of the SD card support and a new button placement design. I really like the infrared sensor on the LR2, so if you like it, then in terms of hardware, you might find LR2 to be better than M3 Note. Both the devices come with 5.5 inch Full HD displays and both look pretty good individually. LR2 comes with a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection on the display, while M3 Note comes with a less popular Dinorex T2X1 scratch resistant glass. M3 Note comes with a maximum brightness of 450 nits while LR2 comes with a maximum brightness of 500 nits. Using both the devices in direct sunlight is decent but LR2 is slightly better over M3 Note. On M3 Note we have multiple screen gestures which you will definitely miss on LR2. By the way because of the way LR2 is designed it looks to have huge bezels around the display when compared to M3 Note. Because of the 2.5D curved glass screen gestures I would pick M3 Note as a winner in the display department. M3 Note comes with a 13 megapixel f2.2 aperture 5P lens with face detection autofocus and a dual tone LED flash on the rear and a 5 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture 4P lens on the front. LR2 comes with 16 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture 5P lens, face detection autofocus, dual tone LED flash on the rear and on the front we have the 8 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture. Besides the specs, when it comes to the actual performance, LR2 is definitely better than M3 Note. Currently, M3 Note has software issues related to the camera and they will be fixed with the software update pretty soon. Chinese devices already got that update and the improvement is significant. Check out my camera reviews for more information. M3 Note sports a Helios P10 octa-core processor with Mali T860 GPU, 3GB of RAM, 32GB of internal storage, with an option to insert SD card. LR2 comes with a better Snapdragon 652 octa-core processor with Adreno 510 GPU, 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. This is probably the best mid-range processor out there. These are the benchmark scores of M3 Note and the LR2. As expected, the difference in the performance is very huge. LR2 is almost twice as powerful as M3 Note. Gaming performance on this device will be completely unmatched as well. This is probably the only place where you'll notice the difference in performance. On M3 Note you can play all the high-end games at medium or low graphics and all the small games without any problem. 
on Lertu, you can play all the high-end games at pretty good graphics. For gaming, Lertu will be better. Both the devices have pretty good processors and will last you for 2 to 3 years for moderate to high usage. On normal usage, you don't have to worry about the heating issue, but while charging, La2 gets very hot compared to M3 Note. While playing high-end games, both the phones will heat up moderately and if you push them to their limits, they will get extremely hot. M3 Note runs on a skinned version of Android called Flyme OS on top of Android 5.1 which comes with a lot of nice customizations and some cool features. Lure 2 runs on a skinned version of Android called EUI on top of Android M which comes with similar customizations but lacks features like screen gestures, smart bubble and multi-window features. In terms of software features and the software experience, M3 Note has more to offer than Lure 2. Lure 2 definitely has a better processor but for day-to-day -day use, you'll never notice the difference between both the phones. And I think you'll love M3 Note more than Lure 2. Anyway, that's what I think. So you can pick the best device in the software department by checking out my videos like awesome features on both the devices. You can find the links for that in the description area. Both have mono speaker on the right hidden under the symmetric design speaker grille and both are decently loud enough. On M3 Note we have the traditional 3.5mm audio jack which can be used with your old headset and the audio quality is pretty good. On Lure 2 we don't have the audio jack, we have to use a Type-C port to listen to music and you also have the choice to use an adapter to use your old headset. Audio experience via the adapter is good but lacking the volume. Audio experience on both the devices is good and I would prefer the 3.5mm audio jack only because we don't have good Type-C headsets as of now. So in the audio department, M3 Note is a winner. M3 Note comes with a huge 4100mAh battery and a traditional micro USB charging port and a normal fast charger which gets charged from 0 to 100 in 2 and a half hours. Lerto comes with 3000mAh battery with Type-C USB charging port and a quick charging and can be charged from 10 to 100% in 60 minutes. That's one hour. On M3 Note you can get a battery life of 2 days on normal usage and one and a half day on moderate to high usage. No matter what you do, it will definitely survive a day without any problem. Lerto will give you a decent one day of battery life from morning to night and if you are a heavy user, it will die on you probably by evening. When it comes to battery, it will all come down to you once again. Do you want a device that will survive an entire day no matter what you do or a device that you might have to charge twice that gets charged quickly? The choice is up to you, but personally I would pick Lerto because of the fast charging. The first deciding factor will be the 3.5mm audio jack. If you have already invested some money in a good headset, then that will completely go to waste because of the Type-C USB port on the Lerto. Next is the battery life. So that's again something you have to decide yourself. Next would be the camera performance. I would say both are pretty good and you probably won't notice a lot of difference between these two cameras. M3 Note is more like economy class vehicle, comes with almost all the basic stuff most people use, a huge battery, super fluid android experience, screen gestures and a decent camera. This is the phone I would suggest for regular people who want a good android experience with huge battery and expandable memory option. Lerto is like a sports car with all the latest tech, a better camera with fast charging and I would suggest this to tech enthusiasts, gamers who install a lot of apps, games and really know how to kill their device. I would choose M3 Note for the bigger battery, killer looks and pretty good android experience. What do you think? Let me know by commenting below this video. If you want us to make any specific video let us know and we will try to do it as soon as possible. If you like this video hit that like button and stay tuned to us by subscribing to our channel and I'll catch up with you in my next video. Until then have a nice day.